my fine people welcome back if you're new to this channel thanks for tuning in and we do hope that you join the fine fine people train Choo -choo! and thanks all my returning subscribers for coming back so let's get right into the video hi guys welcome back so i started with my eyebrows already done and now i'm going to take my classic classic eyeshadow primer and i'm just going to apply that all over my neck and i just remember that's supposed to do more eyes so taking my um, classic eyeshadow primer, I'm just placing that all over my lid and then I'm just buffing it in. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and take my LA Girl Pro setting powder and I'm just using it to set the primer and also set underneath my eyebrows where I place my concealer. Taking that um, mustard yellow orange-ish kind of shade. <laughs> That's going to be our transition color for today. So I'm just going to apply that slightly above my natural crease and I'm just going to buff it in. And don't forget guys, to so always tap off the excess, okay? Don't just go in like that. Tap off the excess because you don't want to come out looking like a masquerade from where? Oshobo. Um, Oshobo people, not very soon. I play the play, I just between my head, you know? So <laughs> taking the... Um, brown shades from the palette um, my video Jackson palette I'm just applying that slightly below where I applied the transition color and I went ahead to take that brown shade again or a different one anyway and using a more precise brush brush excuse me I am applying and buffing it into the crease of my eyes so going to my Benina palettes I'm taking that dark dark brownish purpley shade and I'm using a pencil brush and I'm just focusing on the outer edges of my eye, outer corners of my eye. And I'm going to go ahead and blend it in. Blending, 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 blending. So I went ahead <laughs> and I took my um, Kiss Beauty highlighter palette and I'm taking a concealer shade from there and I'm just using to cut my crease because you know who that I family people we have to do this you cannot like not you can't skip this stage because we don't have I so yes you have to do it so <laughs> just make sure when you're cutting your crease you cut it above your natural crease actually so that like slightly above the natural crease so that the colors can actually pop and show properly so taking my bh cosmetic well my friend's bh cosmetic palette i'm applying the copper shade to the outer corner of my eyes and i'm going to use three um different shades for this look So going ahead and taking a brighter shade, like a bronze kind of goldish shade, I'm applying that to the middle section of my eyes. I'm also making sure that I work it into the copper shade so that there's no um, demarcation. And I'm taking that gold shade, the two gold shades I just showed you, and I'm actually applying it to the inner corners of my eyes. And, you know, same thing, demarcation, trying to avoid it, makeup has to pop yes so i'm making sure i'm blending the outer part of the eyes i'm trying to make it darker but at the same time i'm trying to actually make sure the colors diffuse into each other yes so going ahead and i took the same transition color and i just applied that above my natural crease to blend everything in together so that's that's my friend the one that you know drops the palette for us you know she's she's a sponsor so she's one of the sponsors you know yeah i have pretty friends pretty pretty friends pretty and supportive friends they're cool people So uh, I'm sure you all are like really shocked that I'm doing a really dramatic eyeliner today. Yes, I know, but it's Valentine's Day, you know, so um, it's a date night something, you know, so yeah, all this like rubbish, rubbish girls on the roads that'll be trying to be looking at the person you are going out with, we have to show them that I have a knife, 
and it's on my eyes. And I will take it out and I will slit your throat with it if you come near me. <laughs> oh my guys, oh my goodness, guys, I'm just joking, you know, don't mind me. I was just in the mood for the you know dramatic eyeliner today which i'm sure is very regular for most people so taking my kiss beauty um concealer again and i'm just cleaning up the eyeliner so that it is sharp enough to use it to slice somebody to use it to slice somebody just sharp <laughs> going into my zaron face definer palette and i'm taking the P, uh, in PZ20 and I'm taking the highlight shade I'm just applying that below well um, on my brow bones just so that um, when I apply the highlight color it will actually pop and show properly because I realized that when I put my transition color some of it goes on my brow bone and so you know everything just kind of gets missing so I also go ahead and I take this neutral shade just to tone it down a little bit and then I apply it there so that when I put my eye, uh, my highlight color, you know, it pops and all the enemies are blind. They can't see us. So going ahead and I'm just um, blending every single thing together. <laughs> so um, I took the um, bronze and uh, moonstone from my Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. That's my friend Freki. Yeah, I have fine friends. I know. I know I have fine friends. <laughs> oh, plus, you know, she was like, girl, you have to post a video. And I'm like, girl, you know, I got nothing to use. And she's like, don't worry, I got you. I got you. And so she's provided, you know, the filming materials for me to post the video so yay frecky <laughs> so um the lashes i use were b lashes um in style in the style number one and we all know i love b lashes a lot so yes that's 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 my brand for lashes taking the pond's latin oil control vanishing cream i'm using that as a primer however i don't know if you can use that as a regular face cream i haven't seen anybody do that but this is my primer for today and i went ahead and i decided to use my maybelline fit me matte plus polish in 360 mocha mocha for the foundation of today by the way if you guys have noticed i love this foundation this and the classic hd foundation they are so good this is more lightweight and not as full coverage compared to the classic from any anyway, of my own experience and i'm just buffing it into my skin and making sure that everything is blended in properly and guys, fun fact, do you know that eh, after this makeup, mm, you know what I went to do? I went to wash my face. Mm? After I washed my face finished, I wore my clothes and I went to my department to cast concrete for my project work. It's a funny story, right? But hey, that doesn't mean y'all can rock this look and, you know, let me know in the comment section how y'all's day went. Or, you know, if it's just a get together with friends, you know, just tell me, what did you guys do for Valentine's Day? What did you all do for Valentine's Day? I'll probably be having classes soon, you know. Going to class. So taking the Nuba Beauty Blender, I just went ahead to blend everything together. And my Pro Conceal, I used Toast and Warm Honey. Yes, girl, the song was like, the song was touching my soul. So I just had to move to the big, like, Sia, Sia, man, Sia does magic. So... I'm just applying, you know, the places we apply, the temples. Okay, so now I'm gonna be using the big ones. Okay, it's not a big wash, yeah, but let me let me use the mouth in the sh I'm applying to the forehead directly below my eyes, um above my lips and down the bridge of my nose. I do not apply my highlights my concealer to my chin just because my chin is closer to my neck and my chest and i've noticed that you know when you do your makeup it's it comes out really bright initially so by the time before you wait for it to like sink into your skin and all that band so i like to make sure that every single thing is 
not like everything is blended together but at the same time there's not so much of a demarcation so I don't place my concealer there I do however place my setting powder there and I'm using the Sasha Buttercup setting powder to set the concealer well I decided to bake today but I didn't bake for long so I just placed it where I placed my concealer you know forehead bridge of the nose below my eyes above my lids and also um, the hollows of my cheek I do cheeks I do that just because it helps me with um, my contour to be precise you know but if you're going to do this make sure you blend it out like okay guys hold on let me explain you need to make sure it is blended proper proper what properly if not Oshobo masquerade will be calling you Oshobo people I'm sorry you I don't know why it's Oshobo that's always entering my head but make sure you blend it properly you know with your face powder so you know you've seen the color the um the palettes I used my Zaran face definer palette in PZ20 and the MAC bronzing powder just to contour my face down the bridge of my nose hollows of my cheeks and above my forehead and I went ahead to take my Zaron compact powder in ZZ35 and I'm just applying that to my full face and I'm buffing it in and at the same time I'm trying to set my full face you know Guys, don't make me mistake. I made there. Don't swipe. Like, don't don't swipe. Don't mind me. I don't know why I was swiping. Don't swipe. Just circular, like small, small circular motions, circular motions. I realized I forgot to uh, contour the bridge of my nose, so I went back and I remedied the situation. But I'm sure you guys thought for a moment there that I was like gone, gone, like gone, gone to wings, gone, gone and gone. But I was, I'm a god. Guys, don't forget to subscribe. Bro. And don't forget to share, you know, and like. We need to like the video because I put in so much effort and so much hard work, you know. So I took a black eyeliner and I'm just using it to line my like my water so my friends are here making fun of me like when i said the whole knife they're trying these people are silly <laughs> and i just went ahead <laughs> i'm sorry i went ahead and i took um for my eyeshadow palette i took the shades i applied on my lids and i'm just applying that below my eye my waterline like the brown the copper gold and the gold gold <laughs> just so that like there's a little bit of warmth brought into my face see see that pink that does not want me to to shine it's trying to steal my shine but it's a lie it's not gonna happen i don't know if i said this before but click the notification bell below okay you get notified anytime I post a new video, which will be every week soon enough. So I'm taking summer and I'm just going to apply that to my tear ducts from my um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Sun Dipped Palette. Just so that my eye pops, you know, it's like popping and bright. So taking my favorite brush from Black Radiance in Soft Honey. I'm applying that to my cheeks and don't forget to smile guys so you see my friends are just amazing so what happened was that rain decided to fall but they're like girl you are going to slay these people no matter what so they turned on the touch lights for me isn't that like so sweet you know and they're like they're still gonna see your glow like can't you like isn't that glow giving you life guys let's let's take a moment of silence to appreciate the glow Okay, moment over. <laughs> so, um, you know, I apply that to the bridge of my nose, a little bit to the bridge of my nose, my button nose, my cupid's bow, my cheekbones, and a little bit of my forehead and my chin. And I always like to blend every single thing out because I hate, I hate all those lines, all those demarcations. I hate it so much. 
I went ahead and I took my e.l.f. makeup mist and set and I sprayed all of my face as well as my setting spray obviously you know so um take I took the Zara um sorry the Tara lip pencil in Kwasi Do that's a nice name and I'm just trying to apply that no well I'm trying to line my lips and I love this pencil I don't know I've been sleeping on it since you know it's like so pigmented like really pretty you know I decided to do like you know a bold lip very bold I don't do red that often so I decided to try something different today and I went ahead to take my classic makeup um, lipstick in Ruby Woo and I'm just trying to fill it fill in the rest of my lip So guys, this is the final look for the makeup. I'm sure y'all didn't know what's coming next. Okay, well, the title will probably give it up, but this is my outfit for the day. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys love this video. Um, I've had this jump jumpsuit, excuse me, for a while now. It's like a corset kind of jumpsuit. Very simple, very chic, very classy. And I decided to pair it up with a belt, a gold and black belt. And then, you know, some gold jewelries and a simple sandal heel. Um, yeah. So, I hope you like the look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll really like to know what you guys did on Valentine's Day. I'm going to be having classes and tests and all them stuff. So, no Valentine's Day for me. But, you know, let me know what you guys did. Let me know if you had fun. Did you spend your family? Did you spend your significant other? Wink, wink. <laughs> well don't forget to share this video don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe and comment guys i really appreciate the support so far so um thanks for watching till next time guys stay on the fine fine people squad okay on the fine fine people train choo choo stay slaying stay popping i'll see you in my next video guys bye The making, the making of it. You can actually see that.